We are pleased to announce the films selected as the Best Picture nominees. They are. Everybody who got a nomination deserved it, but there's a lot of people who deserved it who didn't get in there, and it's a little unpredictable. This is one of those years when there's no clear front runner. You know, uh, last year we had 12 years of Slave and Gravity, and people kept saying it's between those two and but and, and a lot of other contenders. This year there's about five front runners instead of two, and so that makes the race more interesting. But uh, you know, for those of us who are trying to make predictions, it, it's going to be uh, crazy making. Why do you suppose I just hurled a chair at your head, Neiman? I, I don't know. Sure you do. The tempo? Were you rushing or were you dragging? I was really surprised by several inclusions. The first being Whiplash in the Best Picture category, because it's a little small film. It's an indie movie, but it features two powerhouse performances by Miles Teller and J.K. Simmons. Really great to see it as the eighth nominee in that category. Steve Carell was another surprise inclusion, because people were thinking this was a supporting actor nomination. But he got in for Best Actor, so that was really great to see his performance. He's so creepy. In in that movie, but it's fantastic. Always use a turn signal, park between the lines, yes! The biggest numbers of the Oscar nominations this morning would start with the Lego movie. One of the biggest films of the year, highly acclaimed, opened very, very huge at the box office, was shut out of the animated film category. A lot of people thought it was going to win this year. That was very surprising. The second would have to be that uh, Ava DuVernay for her direction of Selma and Clint Eastwood for his direction of American Sniper were both shut out in the direction category. Those, those two films were, were two of the eight that were nominated for Best Picture this year.